trust and data and insight are critical to success on the job site and on the track, as CAT customer Matt Meyer and CAT Racing Crew Chief Randall Burnett recently discussed. I was fortunate enough to go and spend some time uh, at Caterpillar over the winter and, and went through all that stuff and how they use that as well. And it's, it's, uh, it's funny how similar it is to how we use it. For CAT Racing, a command center manned by five to 10 engineers during every race is working hard to process a ton of information. Because we have a lot going on at the racetrack that we keep up with just for our car. So it's helpful to have other people looking at all that data to kind of look at the big picture of how the race is playing out. In recent years, teams have been allowed to start collecting data based on GPS technology, things like brake pressure, steering wheel inputs, throttle, and more. When NASCAR allowed us to start collecting that data and then on top of that develop the program that we can overlay it against our competitors, uh, it really, really upped the value of that room and how much information comes and goes out of there. Yeah, we, we use similar information now through Caterpillar. Uh, for example, we had a machine down a few weeks ago where the, you know, you're talking a $2 million machine, rear uh, differential's overheating instead of tearing this whole thing apart to see what's happening being down for over a month. The team was able to analyze that and realize that the operator was just simply leaning his foot on the pedal just enough to activate it and overheat those brakes. So you're talking a $30,000, $40,000 issue that we, we solved fairly quick. Caterpillar works with field teams, customers, and dealers to monitor machines, collecting data with a focus on productivity and machine health, providing feedback, which is important when it comes to services like customer value agreements. It lets our fleet managers know when that machine needs to be serviced. So whether it be by location, where is the machine uh, that needs to be serviced, to the hours, am I getting close? Because we want to meet those KPIs. Am I within 50 hours of that service? How do I get it scheduled without affecting my uh, production? Randall says the subtle things a driver might be doing could have a significant impact. And that's where balancing trust in the driver and the data comes in. So that's where the communication is very key. And me being very understanding what the car is doing and and making sure I relay the right message that the car is at this level of loose or tight and getting that as close as I can for, for him to adjust on it. It's so handy to have that information. So to be able to visualize that and see that, it, it, it's a huge benefit. Yeah, it's, it's definitely nice to see that the small inputs make big changes. And I'm sure Absolutely. that's what wins races for you guys.